a quiet but significant breakthrough in astronomical imaging may reshape how we explore the universe. Scientists at University of California, Los Angeles have achieved record-breaking image resolution using a single telescope, something that previously required massive interferometric arrays. The key is a small but sophisticated optical fiber device called a photonic lantern, which they installed on Subaru Telescope in Hawaii. When aimed at Beta Canis Minoris, it revealed fine structural details that had never been observed before. In this video, we'll break down what this breakthrough is, why it matters, and where it could lead next. Let's get started. For decades, improving telescope resolution has relied on building ever larger mirrors or linking instruments across long distances. But in this experiment, the University of California Los Angeles team took a different route. They used a photonic lantern, a type of fiber optic that processes incoming starlight in a fundamentally new way. Traditional telescopes treat light as a single blended beam, discarding fine structural information in the wavefront. The photonic lantern separates that light into distinct spatial modes, preserving subtle details that are normally lost. These modes can then be analyzed to reconstruct sharper images than the telescope's aperture would typically allow. To put the device to the test, the team mounted it on Subaru's first PL instrument and targeted Beta Canis Minoris, a fast rotating star about 162 light years away. It's surrounded by a thin disk of hydrogen gas, making it ideal for assessing how well the new system can resolve delicate features. Using the lantern, the researchers achieved a five-fold improvement in their ability to measure slight, color-dependent shifts in the light caused by the Doppler effect, where gas moving toward Earth appears slightly bluer and gas moving away slightly redder. This allowed them to map the rotation of the disk with unprecedented clarity. In the resulting data, a surprising feature emerged. The disk isn't perfectly symmetrical, it's lopsided, a structural detail that conventional imaging methods couldn't reveal. That asymmetry could carry important clues about the physical forces shaping the system. Achieving this clarity required overcoming a familiar problem, Earth's atmosphere. Even with adaptive optics compensating for turbulence, tiny fluctuations blur the incoming light. The photonic lantern is so sensitive that these residual distortions became critical. To address this, the team developed advanced data processing methods to filter out noise without sacrificing the subtle signals that make the technique so powerful. This experiment proved that by rethinking how light is handled, a single telescope can resolve features once considered beyond its physical limits. High resolution imaging isn't just a matter of getting a sharper picture. It's one of the most powerful tools astronomers have for understanding how stars, planets, and galaxies form and evolve. Historically, pushing the resolution frontier has required massive infrastructure. This breakthrough offers another way forward, extracting more from the same light rather than building ever larger telescopes. By preserving spatial mode information, the photonic lantern taps into data that existing optical systems simply ignore. This approach doesn't change the physics of the telescope. It changes how much information we can recover from each observation. Scientifically, the lopsided gas disk around Beta Canis Minoris is more than just a striking image. Such asymmetries can indicate gravitational interactions, perhaps an unseen companion star or an early stage of planet formation. They may also reveal instabilities in fast-rotating stellar disks, which can reshape how matter is distributed over time. These are subtle effects that would have remained invisible without higher resolution. The discovery raises important questions. Are these asymmetries common in similar systems? Have they been there all along, hidden below the resolution limits of conventional instruments? And how might their presence reshape our understanding of stellar and planetary system evolution? Beyond individual targets, the technology itself has broad implications. Rather than replacing existing large telescopes or interferometric arrays, photonic lanterns could extend the capabilities of a wider range of observatories. 
mid-sized telescopes could tackle high-resolution work that once required massive, multi-instrument setups. This opens the door to more frequent observations, more institutions contributing data, and a broader scientific reach. It also builds a bridge between photonics and astrophysics. By combining advanced fiber optic design with precision computation, astronomers are effectively unlocking a layer of information that has always been in the light, but never before accessible. This is not an abstract promise. It's already demonstrated science. The practical impact of this technology could be felt quickly. Since the photonic lantern is a modular device, it can be added to existing telescopes without the need for major reconstruction. This gives many observatories, not just the largest, access to techniques that dramatically improve resolution. In the near term, its most immediate benefit will be to mid-sized telescopes around the world. Instruments that previously couldn't compete with the largest facilities may soon be capable of resolving fine cosmic structures with remarkable clarity. This democratizes access to high-resolution imaging, which has traditionally been limited to a handful of premier observatories. The applications span many areas of astronomy. Protoplanetary disks, tracing early planet formation in fine detail. Exoplanet atmospheres, measuring spectral shifts more precisely. Stellar systems and accretion disks, mapping rotation and asymmetry in real time. Compact astrophysical sources, resolving inner structures around black holes and active galactic nuclei. The Subaru results also pave the way for space-based applications. In orbit, without atmospheric turbulence, the photonic lantern's full potential could be unleashed. Such a system could give smaller space telescopes capabilities once reserved for flagship missions, at a fraction of the scale and cost. The development path is clear. Refine noise filtering algorithms, scale the technology for broader wavelength ranges, and deploy it at more observatories. Because it builds on existing infrastructure, the adoption curve could be fast compared to traditional large-scale projects. There are also cross-disciplinary benefits. Techniques developed for astronomy often find applications in other domains. Photonic lanterns may prove valuable in areas like quantum communication, biomedical imaging, and remote sensing, where capturing and interpreting fine light structure is equally important. But its most immediate and profound impact will remain in astronomy. This innovation doesn't just enhance imaging, it changes who can participate in high-resolution science and how quickly we can learn about the structures hidden in distant star systems. The photonic lantern turns one telescope into a far sharper eye on the universe. Its first use on Subaru already revealed hidden structure around Beta Canis Minoris, a small shift in technology, big step for how clearly we can see the cosmos.